Since the dawn of time, things have happened. People have talked about those things. First with cave paintings, then with language, writing, and art. In our time, we use the internet. From the depths of Nerdum come four guys who talk about things too. World famous internet celebrity, Justin L. The destroyer of BotCon, Deadbugs. A man who rejects the concept of catch and release, Justin Catfish. And the customizing powerhouse, Mako Aspire. This is totally knocked off. Hey everybody, it's your favorite show, Totally Knocked Off Podcast. Uh, I'm your host, uh, the world infamous internet personality Justin L. With us, we've got the destroyer of BotCon bedbugs. Hell yeah. We've, we have Justin the Christian Catfish. Say something. What's going on? And then we've got uh, Mako Spires. <laughs> White power. You need it. Oh come on, power. man! You just got a flag. <laughs> God knows. I figured it was apropos. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about you later. So yeah. Um. <laughs> so how's everybody doing tonight? I am so good. Yay! I'm tweaking my oh, nipples. Good. That's great. Who wants to go next? I'm doing pretty good. I woke up from a long nap in a shitty mood, so. Oh, nice. What's well, the perfect time to do the show? So, wait, you what haven't said. You haven't described your nap as frothy yet, so <laughs> is frothy only when it's good? Oh, wait, yes, you're yeah, right. Yeah, it's yeah. a ch- You had a Chad nap. Yeah, Correct. I did. Was yeah. it a hanging Chad? It was, dude. It was. Fucking terrible. I woke up with a headache and shit. Oh, that sucks. How you doing, Bugs? I'm doing pretty good. I uh, had a very long, boring day at work adding record books, and now I'm getting my drink on. Nice. Lean back, I see you, You're getting a little, I see, little muffled. I see you chugging that Mike's Hard Lemonade over there. Yeah. Find something else. All right, so I guess... Uh, Let's go ahead. Uh, what did you get this week? Uh, let's start with uh, Justin. Well, uh, all I got this week was an oldie, but a goodie. I picked up a steel core with a trailer from uh, one of my buddies, thus completing the war bot line. It's been a while, but it's done now. And, and I like him. He's cool. You know, nice. He's actually one of my old. favorite G1 characters. <laughs> yeah, he's an old, old, old third-party figure, man. He's, he's still a good one. All right, I guess that, we'll that's go. That's all I got. So, besides a bunch of empties, what do you got, Bugs? Well, uh, I had mentioned on last week's show that I had ordered the uh, Bicon uh, Waspinators, and those finally came this week. And of course, one of them came without a head, and, and that was the red one. And <laughs> Miraculously, uh, I contacted them and I got the head in the mail today. So now all my bugs are 100% complete. So nice, that's pretty. Yeah. Uh, gave you some head. Yeah. <laughs> yep, Angie gave me some head. Yeah. yeah. Damn, you name dropped it. Holy shit. <laughs> all right, yeah. and uh, me and uh, Make Aspire were at NJCC this weekend, so uh, we both got a decent haul. Uh, what'd you get? Okay, let's see. Um, let me pull up my slide rule here. <clears throat> um, I got a bunch of TF Prime figures. Um, I'm getting into that just because my little girl and I, were we watched them together. And she would ask me to watch them, so that was cool. So I wanted to have some kind of representation of that in my collection. Um, so I got those. I got about nine figures for 
I think about a hundred bucks. Um, and then what else? I got mm -hmm. the uh, the Harakons, both the Kingzilla and the King Gorilla. Out of the two of them, I well, I'll save it for later, but it's the Snapdragon's definitely better. Um, let's see what else I get. I got the Moz Toy Skiff, and that was the only one available at the show, and I'm lucky I picked it up because right next to that table was Bobby, so I got him to sign it. That was pretty cool. Um, I got a Figma Indiana Jones figure and some kind of loose little gizmo from Gremlins. Um, aside from that, I think that's it. Nice, man. That's cool. Your girl likes to watch uh, Transformers Prime, man. That's awesome, man. Yeah. And the thing that sucks is we were we were piggybacking uh, Netflix off my cousin, and I, she either canceled her account or changed her password. And last night, she's like, can we watch robot cartoons? I'm like, ah, oh, shit, Netflix is gone. <laughs> so I got to go get them or download them or something. I have Netflix. I like it. It's worth the 11 bucks. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't ever use it, so it's not worth uh, it. I don't watch enough TV or, or programming. I need to get on that because that might be the, the last good Transformers fiction we got that wasn't in paper form. Yeah. <laughs> For a while. Good point. For a while. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Did that come out after the first Transformers movie? Like uh, 2009, 2010, something like that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right in between the uh, first and second one. Nice. Yeah. Was so, uh, I was surprised how much I liked it. Oh, I love it. It's great. Like, like the, it has the first episode. Of course, I'm you know skeptical. I'm coming in at you know with my G1 goggles. Like, all right, that ain't right. That's what the fuck, you know, this, that, and the other thing. But um, you know, after a couple episodes, you're like, this is kind of dark, and it's got some substance to it. Yeah, it's definitely a show that was made, you know, where kids could watch it, but like the parents could watch it without cringing the entire time. Yeah. If they weren't into that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Which is funny because it was the same guys that worked on the movies, uh, Kurtzman and Ortsy. Yeah. But so maybe, you know, make... with the, the cartoon, maybe they were given free reign. You know, as long as it could be turned into something that Hasbro could market as a toy, you know, they could just go wherever they wanted with it. Because we all know Hasbro doesn't give a fuck about the, the, uh, the story or history. They just like the fact that they own the idea of uh, transforming robots. It was a good idea. Yeah. Somebody's going to, uh, one of our listeners is probably going to throw up some knowledge that they probably didn't invent it. <laughs> but I don't care because it's the only one that matters. <laughs> we, we deal in absolutes on the show. We absolutely rule. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so anyways, I guess I'll go next. Uh, I had a pretty good haul, too, at NJCC. Uh, I picked up the KFC Horror Cons myself. I love them. Uh, they're pretty solid. I've flipped them back and forth a few times with no stress marks, no breakage. So if you broke yours, uh, you need to stop tweaking. Um, I got G1 Hardhead. G1... Uh, uh, come on, brain. G1 Hardhead. I think it's funny. G1 Hardhead, come on, brain. Yeah, man. I mean, damn if I can think of it. What else did I get? I drink a lot. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I got G1 Whirl, G1 Hardhead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, complete, too. I picked him, I picked him up, and I picked up um, Venom, G1 Venom, the Deluxe Insecticon. Oh, nice. Uh, complete. It's the only one I was missing. Now I have all four. I picked up both of them for like 90 bucks. It was pretty good. <laughs> cool. And the guy had Hardhead for like 45. I just paid for it without even asking for a discount. That was a good deal. Yeah. And, um... Hmm. I should have wrote this down before we started. Probably. 
Oh, and I got the MP movie Bumblebee, which I actually really, really like. Um, yeah, I told you, man. Yeah, he's pretty good. And I also picked up... I also got in the mail this week from Spiros. I got the MPM Prime, which I like a whole lot. He's not as solid as B is, but he's still probably the best representation of that Prime we have. And with the paint... The engineering, the diecast. I think he's worthy of a masterpiece name, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh yeah, and I got I got some NECA Robocop versus Terminator figures, mm -hmm. a couple NECA uh, figures from Pacific Rim, and I won a Vitruvian hack little snake lady thing, and I don't know what it is, and I haven't opened it yet. Wait, but it's cool. You you say you won that? Did you win? Yeah, it? I won it. In the in the drawing, yeah, I run it in the drawing. Wow. And it's a little, it's like a. Maybe I'll send you a picture of it for the YouTube. It's a lady with a snake body, and like a skull, skull helmet and a shield. It's kind of like a Medusa if she was a like a snake, I guess. Oh no, this sounds kinda, very sexual to me. Yeah, it is really. I, I, it's from Boss Fight Studios. And uh, it is really well detailed. I'm not a really into this stuff at all, but if I was, I'd probably give them a lot of money because it's really well done. So shout out to Boss Fight for giving away stuff. Nice. And sure I think. Cool. Yeah. And I think that's about it. That's what I got. Ah, oh, shut up. Yeah, my <laughs> fucking dogs are barking. I don't know. Somebody just tried to break in or something. Well, grab your lightsaber and get him, dude. Oh, that's alright, the dog will take care of that shit. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I had a really good haul, and uh, now I need to find room for all this stuff. Nice. You guys still, not time, the, huh? still not the nicest thing you've won at a uh, drawing at a convention, though. <laughs> nah. <clears throat> I won, um... The one I won that, uh... The Despotron, man, that was sick. Oh, really? You won one of those? Yeah, I won it at uh, Chosen Prime's dinner last year. Nice. TFCon. That was all. We all won, man. It's a winner's circle. You need to come hang with us if you go. Yeah. We all won, dude. I don't even think I had the biggest prize, man. Like, we all won stuff. Oh, we won you... about 40 pounds of fucking pizza, too, boy. Yeah, we yeah. did. We oh, all had diabetes. God damn, it was good. <laughs> What did you win, JC? I forgot uh, what you won in the raffle. I didn't win shit. My wife won that fucking um, Red Planet X Grimlock. Oh, he's, yeah. He's cool. Like, he's sitting up here with an extra, you know, some other shit. He's a cool figure. Not really my thing, but I kept it for her. <laughs> <laughs> she deserves it. I should have sold it. Like, she doesn't care. She doesn't even remember probably. <laughs> yeah, she if you sell it, if you, <laughs> if, you se if you sell it, she'll remember. Yeah. And then you'll pay. People. She's not even coming to the key of town this year. She's like, fuck that. Oh, man. Well, well, well Loretta's gonna... Because Loretta's coming too, man. Yeah, well, you know. Somebody's gotta stay home with the dogs. Just... Isn't there a lot of other animals for them to eat in your house? Yeah, they can eat the cats, but either I mean, with five of them, they tear up shit for you. Hey, Bugs, why don't you tell everybody what you won, man? Uh, the one thing I won was the custom painted uh, Primus figure that was donated by a customizer that was trying to sell stuff in the dealer room, and it didn't really uh, have a spot in my collection, so it made its way to Iowa. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got him looking at him right now. That's what you're going to blow up next week. No. <laughs> no. I'll keep that forever, man. Like, it's one of my favorite pieces. Cool. But it's pretty badass. All right, so I guess uh, I guess let's go ahead and start moving on to the news now. Uh, big news. Uh, I just got the phone call from Hasbro myself. Uh, Marky Mark is going to be at Hascon. Yeah, because, he, because he's not busy. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, uh, what do you guys think of that? <laughs> I think it's pretty yeah. badass. I just, uh, you probably have more fun at TFCon, though. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be pretty fun to have him at TFCon. Yeah. You know, him or Shia. Shia would be cool. I just want to see Shia at the train wreck, man. No, fuck Dude, that me guy. too, man. The, the the thing about Marky Mark going to Hascon is it, it seems like they're they're trying to uh, broaden the appeal to more people that aren't in the fandom uh, with you know bringing a bigger celebrity from the movie in. I mean, yeah, we had uh, Tyrese Gibson and uh, Josh Duhamel go to Bicon, but I don't really look at them as a list anymore. And I would even be questionable about giving Marky Mark the A-list label, but a lot of people like him outside of his other stuff, his other movies, so I, I can see why they would want to bring him there for the draw, but uh, I, I honestly don't see a bunch of people that are in the fandom taking their last night figures or DVDs and having them stand. No, I, I'm not giving it. I, I, I want to go there and just talk to him about Ted and, you know, Four Brothers yeah. and Steel Dragon. I want to get him to sign my Rainbow Dash doll. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit, we could talk about Dirk Diggler. Hey, fuck yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, I like Marky Mark, so... You know, it'd be cool. No, man, he's he, alright. He, he was just in town here recently at the fucking grocery store peddling, uh... Fuck, some kind of nutrition thing that he's selling or some shit. What? Might y'all have a potato yeah. festival? Yeah, I don't remember what it was, but <laughs> there wasn't no, very many have... people there. Iowa's corn, Idaho's potatoes. Close enough, man. They're both starches. You right, bud. North Carolina is tobacco. You guys kill people. Yeah, but we also <laughs> have the best. We have the best barbecue, and we also have Pepsi. Yeah, but you wouldn't have a barbecue if it wasn't for Iowa fucking growing pigs. Right, we got pigs. I've seen pig farms down here. We got them big fat government cheese eating pigs, man. Mm. They're good. They taste like fat. My <laughs> pork belly. All right, so uh, I guess that's enough Marky Mark. Enough of me gloating about how great North Carolina is. Um, I guess in the news we have Perfect Effect uh, Transgender 2 Megatron. <laughs> Transmetal 2 Megatron. It was the second one, right? Yes. Yeah, I think so. He's uh, blacked out on a black background. I can barely see it, but it's something. This is going to be their answer to uh, Guerrera. You know what I mean? Because like... um, that was Transmetal 2 Optimus Primal, yeah. Yeah, they had that too. I wonder if it's going to be that big. It's going to be that big, I hope. Well, I, mean, I don't really care. I'm probably not going to buy it, but... I always thought that name was incredibly racist. Gorilla. What? Gorilla. <laughs> that's, that, that's that's Japanese for Godzilla, isn't it? Something like that. No. It's a, that's Gojira. I'm so well. I'm so well cultured. Um. <laughs> but yeah, it's a thing. Somebody's making it. Are y'all gonna, gonna buy this? Uh, I know you're gonna buy it, man. You know me. I'm gonna. I'll buy all the perfect effect shit. So I'm gonna buy buy this. Uh, wait for the KO. <laughs> I have no doubt that it uh, will be well engineered and well executed, but I'm just not that big of a Beast Wars collector. See, I like Beast Wars. I just don't care about this part of it. I want, <laughs> I want, I want, I want Tyrannosaurus Rex Megatron. Damn it! It's coming. I don't want that Hasbro either. Hasbro won't let you know. Oh man, I don't care what you want. It's all about me. Okay. Well then, I I want my masterpiece skids. I want one too, though. Good luck with that, boys. I will get one one day, man. Oh, It'll be so. a repaint of Bumblebee, but we'll get it. Uh, no. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Dude, skids was in like what one fucking episode? Two. I mean, get it right, better. fucker. He was in two. Yeah, but he he has like he has one of the one of the one of the best car moves, man. It's a cool-ass little car. What did he do in the episode? He just stood in the background and jerked off? Hey, he was part of fucking Scrapper's uh, throne. Scrapper's what? The throne that he built. Out of all the Autobot bodies? Yeah. I don't remember that shit. I was probably high. 
probably. <laughs> you were high. It was like 1985. Yeah, I started smoking weed when I was like five. So. What are you, 56? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, seriously. Like, when did you start smoking weed? Like seriously, uh, at well, five? You, About 11 o'clock. Well, I tell you what, man. If you like count like secondhand, like no, smoke, I don't. I was probably like zero. I, I didn't really start smoking weed until I was like 12, but, you know, did I was... You, oh, pussy. Did you smoke cigarettes or anything before that? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. I was a good kid. He was a rebel. I mean, for a second there, I thought you were going to be that little Indone- Indonesian fat baby that fucking smokes like 20 pal mal in fucking an hour. The one that looks hmm. like you all? <laughs> <laughs> and we just lost another listener. Now we're down yes. to about four. <laughs> God damn, JC. So What's long. What's that vapor yours, man? We got bleach in there? Yeah, nah, he is Fuck, fucking, he he's salty cool. tonight, man. I guess, man. Uh, I wouldn't doubt he might have a couple, might have a kid out there he don't know about because he's so slick, but, you know, <laughs> I don't think they're all the way over there. <laughs> so oh, back man. to the effect. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. I kind of have to edit out half this show. It's gonna be like half an hour long. Dude, I don't edit nothing except like silence and unnecessary like, uh huh, yes. Hmm. I like uh huh. All right, so anyways, perfect effect. Uh, one person's buying it, and let's move yeah, on to buying this shit. I'm buying one for all you guys. No, I'll take a, have it. I'll take a free one. I don't care. I'm not too good for that. Yeah, I mean, so I, we got. I would just keep okay. it because it was a gift from my friend. Oh, I'm sending you the knockoff. Yeah. Dude, I have no... No, in- he wants... I have no interest in Beast Wars, so... F- uh, fuck it. How the fuck do you not like Beast Wars? Because they're all fucking turning to Beast. It's stupid. Yeah, but it, ha- it actually had an overarching story. Yeah, man, that was Dude. the only fucking continuation of G1 that you're ever gonna get. The only overarching story I want involves Bukaki. <laughs> Yeah, but you want to be in the middle. That's the problem. Well, it still involves Bukaki. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's move on. Uh, <laughs> Moss Toys CT004 Strong. Uh, I guess that's supposed to be Brawn. It looks to be, yes. Yep. Looks, looks kind of like a thing. What the hell does it into? He turns into a rolling casket. <laughs> 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 or a portable generator. I'm not sure. <laughs> I like what these guys are doing, making up these uh, Cybertronian designs and everything. Yeah, they don't give a shit. They're make. I think they're making this because they want it. Yep. You know. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's cool, but you know, it's not. It's not really funny. I mean, uh, it, do we even yeah. do we even know what a Cybertronian brawn looks like? No. No. So they're just making this up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm can, glad he turns cool. into a trash truck. That's kind of cool. If I can get it for yeah, fucking like 25, 30 bucks, I'll buy it. Yeah, I'll buy it. Yeah. I mean, uh, the, I think it's that, a very creative thing they're doing. That that alt mode almost looks like it's a Creo. Yeah. Maybe it is. Maybe that's the catch. Comes with a Creo. It looks like it. <laughs> yeah, you have to take the Creo too. All right. So who's buying this? No. Yes. Well, wait a minute. How is that uh, quality on that one you bought there, uh, Chris? It's uh, it's not bad. If anybody has um, Unique Toys Allen, you'll understand what the plastic feels like. It's it's kind of the same. I liked Allen, man. I thought Allen was really solid. He just didn't have that look I wanted in the long run, so yeah, I sold him. He's solid, but he the plastic quality, it's hard to ex- explain until you have it in your hand and you're feeling it. It feels like Tupperware lids. <laughs> Like, for real. I'm not joking, man. I'm looking at one right now. It feels like Tupperware lids. Kind of, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit yeah. a little bit harder. Mmm. Yeah. All right, so is anybody buying this? Yeah, I'll get it. Okay. You never know until you see it, man. Like, I'm probably going to pick up that fucking Bumblebee and go from there. You know, I'm running out of chug shit to buy, so... Ah, true. I forgot you got it easy, man. You only got to buy Chug. Yeah. yeah, I do. How many of these are you buying, Bedbugs? None. Uh, oh, just... come on, man. 
the the design just doesn't appeal to me. Uh, I have enough brawn in my collection. I got my chug and I got my bag cube, so that's enough. And the G1. So I don't have any. I have no brawn except for G1. Oh, I do have the chug. I forgot. I got that little guy. What are you saying, Chris? I'm gonna. It was just a stupid gay sexual joke about. Oh, uh, that's all right. Ha- having enough. Yeah, having enough brawn in your life. Hmm. Mm. God, this is a weird show. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to what everybody's been waiting for. The Hexbug Nano Space Cosmic Command uh, of uh, whatever the hell this who, thing is. Who the fuck put this? No, no, like... Is this Transformer you know, news? No. No, this isn't, but this is fucking kind of cool because I put this in here because if you look at the picture, look at how well it scales and goes with those little fucking diaclone suits and diaclone guys. It looks like a cool little fucking set if you're into like uh, bases and uh, dioramas and shit. Okay. And for forty bucks, man. I mean, it looks it looks pretty deep. So I thought I'd throw it in here and see what y'all thought. Well, that'd be kind of cool, I guess, for forty bucks. Those little tiny things are diaclone. The little yeah, robot like stuff. The little, yep, they're all those new little diaclone things that came out, and there's. Fucking guys and shit. Those are all the diaphone guys. Huh? It it scales perfectly with that shit. And I I see how, like, this could work as maybe a diorama for legends, uh, especially if you have any of the uh, the Iron Factory ones. Uh, I I could see this as being like a Cybertronian base. It kind of just looks like a little space station. Like yeah. a little moon base. That's moon base too yeah. from the movie. I think it's fucking. And they're all dead, you know? all no. of them. It's the uh, oh, spoiler it. alert. It's the truck stop in fucking uh, spaceballs. Yeah. There you yeah. Go. <laughs> like if I was like this, actually has me tempted to buy all those little uh, diaclone uh, robot suits and maybe a couple of the uh, of the diaclone figures. You know the newer ones. But these little uh, hex bugs. You know what this makes me think of. You remember when you were a kid, the little penguin thing? And the penguins would ride up the little escalator, and then they would go sliding down the slide? Yeah, those were cool. Like everybody had one of those. I want one of those things for my, my work desk. That'd be awesome. You should get one, man. I don't know if they still make them. I've been buying all kinds of fucking like weird little vintage toys like that. You know, just, uh, so, JC, you're know. buying this. I might. I might. You know, if, like, if, like... You know, those little Diaclone fucking mech suits or whatever, they, they've been selling out, like, pretty quick, so... Yeah, those things are tiny, fun. man. Those are tiny. Yeah. They're cool, though. But definitely cool little deal. You know, that's why I threw that in there. We don't, you know, just have to cover Transformers toys. All right. Okay. Anyway, so, uh, I guess we're here. opening this up to bronies. No, 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 no. I can't be associated. I want to run for office one day, and you already ruined it with this episode. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I guess, I guess that's that. It's it is kind of cool. I'd rather have all the stuff they bought to go with it, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, yeah. I don't know how new this news is, but up next we have the uh, Make Toys Remaster Series uh, Ten Galaxy Meteor. Which is, uh, I don't care about it, version of Starscream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, looks good. Well, you buying that too? Uh, maybe. Is it Chug? I don't know. No, it's Masterpiece, but, like, if you're gonna fucking, you know, sometimes I will buy a Masterpiece figure if it's just, like, an odd, oddball like this is. But I don't really care for Starscream, so I probably won't get this. It looks really we'll good, man. I saw Bobby's oh. review on it. It looked really good. It looks solid. I just don't need it. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I like Make Toys, so I might check it out for that you know, reason. Now, I'd buy a Skywarp repaint just to go on my Skywarp collection. Nice. Are you a Skywarp fan? Oh, yeah. Are you the Skywarp guy on Facebook? No. Oh, okay. Never mind. Mm-hmm. That guy's pretty funny, man. He just don't never say nothing very often. Wait, what? There's a guy like it's just his name is Skywarp. 
and he's on Facebook and he says funny things about Transformers from Skywars perspective and it's actually really funny but I mean I don't think the guy posts once a month so so what are you you gonna buy those bed bugs um probably not uh I I I've gotten I've actually gotten rid of quite a few of my Cybertron figures um and I had the Supreme um version of the Starscream as well as the uh, Toys R Us exclusive two-pack, the Voyager that was exclusive to Japan for a while there and it it looks pretty similar I mean it's got some more advanced engineering uh, and I do like that it's got uh, two blades uh, that deploy rather than the one giant gun that the Supreme class came with but uh, yeah uh, I've been getting away from Cybertron, so I'll probably pass on this. I zoned out during all of that, but that sounds interesting. Um, okay. You guys think there'll be more Cybertron figures? Probably. Be a one fucking a one and done type deal. Um. Mm. No. Nobody. Well, so uh, it's the same way every uh, every other line goes. If this one sells, yeah. then they'll. Commission more. And they'll re- they'll repaint it. Yeah, that oh, would be good. Sell. I mean, I mean, there's no fucking question about it. I mean, a lot of people already got it. It looks great. I mean, it does look good. It's just it just don't need it. Yeah. All right. Uh, who who wrote horse yeah. vagina in the notes? <laughs> I'm guessing that was, that was you. Then. Uh, what does that have to do with anything? It's it's payback for writing huge massive giant cock or whatever the fuck you did during my yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good though. Yeah, it was. All right. So up next we have KFC EAVI, I guess Evi Phase 10A Kingzilla. And uh it is the KFC Snapdragon which I am very familiar with now. Mm-hmm. And it's fantastic. Yep. Uh-huh. And uh it was an easy, intuitive transformation to get from uh, robot mode, which it came in the box that way, to dragon mode. I didn't care about going to jet mode because that jet mode is money. That jet mode is awesome. I'm sure, but I don't need another plane on my shelf. I need a fucking stupid-looking dragon lizard. Yeah, <laughs> that jet mode, and I went ahead and put the battery in it too. Stupid. I put the battery in that, and that little light-up thing is—it's—it's it's useless, but it is really cool. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I can't wait to find this toy twenty years from now when the acid from the battery is eating the entire nose <laughs> of the plane. <laughs> but yeah, he's good. Oh, um, they learned a little bit from uh, the Gorilla, it seems like. Yeah, but that, uh, that was a—that uh, was touchy. That one. Yeah, but once you peg the red in on his back, yeah, he's actually pretty solid. I forgot to do that the first time, and he was a mess. And then the second time, I discovered it. And uh, once I did that, he's solid. He holds together. Yeah, but before you get to that point, you got to go through like 50 other steps the whole while that fucking thing's flopping all over the place. Well, I mean, you know. (laughs) Shout out to flopping all over the place. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, trying to get it up before you get it in. You know, and you're just flopping all (laughs) over the place there. All right. Yep. It's like trying to fuck after doing an eight ball of cocaine. What you're saying? I don't know. No idea. Oh, uh, yeah, it's kind of like that. Though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> God knows it. Oh. <laughs> All right. So uh, me and uh, me and Chris but, or me and Mako Spire have bought this. You gonna? You guys gonna buy this? I know JC's not. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> scale that way, but. Uh, I'll think about it. Uh, I'm still not a big fan of KFC, but uh, I'll think about it. I'll give Popeyes? them credit for trying. Yeah, I like Popeyes better myself. I like Hardee's better than Popeyes, dude. Mm. Or not Popeyes, shit. I'm going to punch myself. I like Hardee's better than KFC at this point. Do the Hardee's still sell chicken down south? They do down here, yeah. Yeah, they quit doing that shit. It's here. pretty tasty. Yeah. I used to love making that shit well, when it was Roy Rogers. Mm. But all right, so mm. uh, that brings us into the custom painter section. <laughs> somebody wrote that on there too. That wasn't me. Uh, 
First, we're looking at it looks like a uh, Optimus Prime Nemesis Prime hybrid uh, on an MP10 model. Uh, yes, it's really well done. It, it's uh, impressive work, impressive paint. I don't really see a need for it, but somebody's gonna love it. This was done by <laughs> custom, yeah. basically, you know, one of the most well-known custom painters, you know, in Transformers Customs guy named uh, Pumpkin Gonzo. Hey! Hey! Hmm. Um, and this guy just does nothing but stellar paint jobs. And this is just another one in his line. It's a uh, it's a half prime, half nemesis prime. And it looks awesome. I wish I could buy this. You can buy this. It's probably on eBay. Probably is, yeah. Uh, it it yeah, looks Andrew. like the paint is so good that I don't know if it was originally MP10 or MP10B. Like, it's that clean. It looks like they sewed two of them together. Yeah. And the line in the middle, I guess, kind of indicates, like, the transformation, I guess, from evil to light or light to evil or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I wonder which which he started with, if he started with the... Oh, he probably started with MP10, man. I don't know. It might be easier like, to go to red from gray <laughs> than vice versa. Uh-huh. L- looking at this thing, I mean, it looks nice, but it just looking at the chest, it makes me think that it turns into a police car. <laughs> oh, because uh, of the red and the uh, blue? Yeah. He's got a red eye, Real too, man. He's got, he's got, like, he's got, like, an eye infection or something. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna need some topical cream. I hope I hope Takara knocks this off so I can uh, buy it for two hundred and thirty dollars. I thought you did an MP. <laughs> yeah, but I would buy this because it's fucking unique. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I like having like you know single like kind of pieces that are just you know. Standalone figures. I would, I would buy this shit. Well, it's the same way I feel about my Adolf Hitler original. Oh my Jesus god. Christ. <laughs> Will you stop, man? You gotta stop, man. I'm gonna, make like, you edit gonna, get... I'm gonna make you edit me out of the show. I did not see that coming. Oh, <laughs> wow. Me too, huh? Like, nobody's gonna listen to that. All the shitty joking is gonna make sense later on, I promise you. Oh, okay. Or I'm gonna drop out the show. <laughs> All right, so uh, the next one is this really awesome Devastator drawing. Mm-hmm. It's really nice. It's very Devastator-ish. Anybody else wanna uh, tell us about it? Because I don't know nothing about it. Yeah, I, I, I put it in here just because I saw the video it came up in my feed, and it was just cool to watch the guy draw out the Devastator and you know just all the different angles you know it, it's sped up so you're not sitting there watching it real time I mean that's like fuck that that's torture but just seeing how it comes together and just the level of detail a guy gets and he's using you know like, I don't even know what the fuck it's called that little curved stencil thing you know the painter no it's not a painter <laughs> Yeah, you're our you're our uh, our artsy fartsy guy on the show. Yeah, but I can't create anything. It's it's just fantastic work. It's a I'll put the link to the YouTube video in it, and you know just watch it. It's cool. Yeah, it looks really good. I wish I could draw worth a shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, uh, anybody else want to say anything about the picture? That's it. All right. Next, it's not really uh, picture, it's a YouTube video, but that's cool. I'm looking at a picture. Yeah. Everybody's Man. favorite. Here is everybody's favorite segment: knockoff corner. Mm-hmm. Yay. Yay. Um. So first we have uh. Mf and seventeen D Hercules. It looks like a uh, little red, little uh, orange DX nine knockoff. Of the legend scale devastator that's exactly what it is and it, it looks like it's made it out of looks like it's made out of like colored pencils 
Uh, is this color supposed to be like diaclone colored or what? I have no idea about the coloring, but Dude, I don't think they know. I can tell you, I have the uh, the actual knockoff their version, the regular right. colored version, and it, it's pretty solid. It's a good figure. It doesn't look very good. No, not in this orange. It definitely doesn't. Well, it's like orange and yellow. It's orange, <laughs> yellow, blue. Is that right there? That ain't right. I don't know what version it is. No. There's nothing right about that at all. It yeah. looks like something you get out of the, one of those 50 cent machines at the front of Walmart. There's Nice. <laughs> now, mm-hmm. there's Asian writing on the box, which leads me to believe that this is probably targeted to the Asian market. So it could have been a, a repaint over in their uh, their neck of the woods. This with a yellow scrapper? I don't know. Is he, what is he holding, a pipe in the second one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's actually like a, a, a little girder. Oh, so, okay. So it's like half G2 one way, half G2 the other. So are they going to do another set that hey, has all, hey, hey. all the other halves yellow and orange swapped? He, he's gen- like you start- no, no, no. He's generational fluid, okay? Let him go. It's like it's like he, uh, his KB toys closed on him before he could finish the set. <laughs> so he had to pick up the uh, the regular release scrapper and uh, and paint it, whatever the hell the other names are. I can't find this sunset orange. So what's this little thing that he what's this thing that he comes with? What is that? It's a knockoff diaclone mech suit from those new. Why does that come with this? I don't know, but they're already knocking that off. Just cause. Yeah, I was like, hey, look, we can copy this, too. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Fucking it's probably, thieves, man. Yeah, man. Thieves. It's probably junk. <laughs> so we got, um... Next, we have Mech Fans Toys Cyclonaws, the rapper. Yeah. And uh, it looks like Tempest. Kind of looks like Tempest. Yeah, with less quality. So there's that. I think it looks more... okay, actually. It, it doesn't look bad for a knockoff, to be honest. It works when it's an inch and a half tall. Right. But, I mean, for how tall is this one? About an inch and a quarter. Two it's probably inches. about three or four inches tall. Yeah, it's point? about four or so. It's it's going to be bigger than the uh, the DX9, which it's which it's knocking off. Um, that's what this company uh, does. They just make they take the DX9 version or whatever version. So far, it's been DX9 things, and they, I'd say, one and a quarter times upscale it. So it doesn't scale with anything, then. No, it scales. Yeah. It no, it scales perfectly with the um, the the current DX9 Legends line. Hmm. Oh, so basically DX9 is what you're saying. It's up their scale a little bit. Yes. And they're knocking off the old shit. So that you can have figures of scale with your current DX9 releases. Exactly. Well, that's not that bad of an idea. Oh. I mean, DX9 kind of fucked people with that, so. Yeah. You know, well, they didn't they know where of, they were going to go. They were the only ones doing it back then. Well, I mean, they could have stayed with the same scale or. And my fucker, I'm glad they didn't. For all we know, it is DX9, whoever the fuck this company is making it. Probably know it's KFC. What's it called? Mech it's fans Hardy's. toys. Yeah, Mech fans toys. Okay. So, I mean, I can I can see the <laughs> need for it. You know. I'm sorry. So, um, I'm like, what? Mex fans toys? Or is it Mexican fan toys? No. It's, it's MF and toys. Fan. MF and toys. Jesus, man, MF you with the race shit tonight. Fuck. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm just. It's. What's, I'm going to trigger. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Is Bugs gonna say anything or is he out? <laughs> he I'm fucking here. got smashed on Mike's hard lemonade. Yeah, he's sleeping on his keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so enough of that. Uh we're gonna go ahead and do what you know has got to be my favorite segment. Um Total Knockouts. <sighs> and uh I guess we're gonna start with this one. Uh it's a girl with an R2-D2 tattoo. Who did this? Well, this is my pick. Nice. And I'm going to be the first to say, because 
Is she one of your I customers? Said, no. Okay. But I've said this before. I don't really like chicks with tattoos. Like, it loves me. But I think she's hot. And I love Star Wars. Probably more than I love Transformers. Damn. So, she gets my pick of the week. Like, I just love a, I love a chick that loves Star Wars. So, she gets, she gets the pick. And she's How do you know she... How do you know she still loves Star Wars? Huh. Dude, Maybe. you're not going to get a fucking tattoo of R2-D2 and Darth Vader if you don't love Star Wars. Maybe she, well, got she... It be- Maybe she got it before episode one. Oh, come on yeah. now. Don't even start that shit. Yeah, I'm episode just kidding, dude. Two. She wasn't even born when episode one came out. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, she's like 19. <laughs> if she's got a uh, tattoo of Vader, she probably has daddy issues. Hey, she be. might. That's fine too. She can call me daddy all day long. And R- all right. And she's got R two on there because you know she can't say how she feels inside, so she has to get by with beep bop boop. Beep bop boop means no, daddy. It looks like the start of a Wonder Woman tattoo under all that. Yeah. R two is Snoke. I wish that'd be awesome. Spoiler alert. He shows up. The top pops off. That little fucker jumps out of there. <laughs> nah, you know what it is? It's a St. Louis Blues logo coming up. Oh, whatever. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, nobody knows what that is. It's a hot right, reference. So... All right, let's just move on. So up next is is the best one so far. Oh, um, it is a it. pimento cheese BLT sandwich what on a pretzel is? roll with about a half a pound of bacon on it. I would stick all that in my mouth. It's delicious, man. I, look it's at actually that from, bacon. Look, that they have like awesome bacon. That's actually my picture from a place nearby, and uh, I was uh, over there contributing to cardiologists everywhere. By eating that sandwich. <laughs> I'm surprised you let them put rabbit food down there. I know. I was just going to say that myself. It it keeps the bacon from saturating the pretzel with grease. Um, it keeps all the mm. grease on the bacon. So it's. it's and it, it's purely a prophylactic measure. Yeah, I did. I did make them not put the tomato on it though. Yeah, it looks like there's a piece of tomato on there. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I must have forgot. So who's a fucking I usually liar? Tell them no tomato. Or maybe that's a piece of pimento. No, I think that's a little edge of a tomato hanging out. I probably took it off before I finished it. Mm. But anyways, it was delicious, and I would want to eat one right now. And it's it's way better than an STD. <laughs> Anybody else want to say yeah, anything about my know. awesome sandwich? I just want to eat it. Yeah, I'd eat it. Yeah, you would. You'd eat it. What about you, Bugs? Would you eat it? It looks good. I'd eat it. Nice. See, I got the only one that has consensus how delicious it is. <laughs> Dude, I would eat it, and I would order another one for dessert. Nice. And that one he would it fuck. Is- so that we could put some cream on it. <laughs> well, it's not a ba- it's not a bagel. It's a pretzel roll. There's no hole in it. <laughs> Except unless he can get that hole where they put the toothpick through. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! So He'll go in there. It'll rattle around still. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right. So up next, um, we got a girl that uh, looks like her dad missed a lot of recitals. Yeah. <laughs> Whose is that? That is mine. Would you like to tell us about what makes this one special? <sighs> the obvious fucking daddy issue. You know, just looking at her, that she is fucking crazy. <laughs> She's fucking batshit crazy and will fuck you as crazy as she is. Or maybe she just needed like $100 and nah, did a photo shoot. Nah, dude. You can tell. It, it's in the eyes. Just look at her. She's soulless. Uh, I haven't been with enough crazy people to know. Wow. Dude, I'll look at her when she has their soul. Team, bud. <laughs> yeah, gross. Gross. <laughs> she, she looks like she's about 14 here. No, nah, she ain't 14. Come on, man. You don't think? No. But I'm going to put a four, fucking four. She's, like, <laughs> she's clearly at least 18 years old. Because she has tattoos. Yes. Oh, she's got yeah. a, she's got a shitload of tattoos. I bet you that's not her house, though. No. I had tattoos by the time I was 15, though, I'm just saying. That's, yeah, but you got yours in jail. 
The house belongs to the guy that she undoubtedly eventually had to fucking suck his dick. Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on. You know this is leading to that. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to figure out what kind of show this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's whatever the fuck we want it to be. Oh, man. It's is her name, name? her name is Ivy Snow? Yes. Is that is that the name her parents gave her? Um, I don't think so. Okay. What do you think, Bugs? Thank you. Um, I, she's all right. I, I'm not a fan of the way she's got her hair, though, but uh, she does look all right. Yeah, that is definitely my biggest issue with this picture is the hair. Really? Definitely. I like it. It looks like a, like a horse's tail. Yeah, boy. Grab on, Bronco style. <laughs> God, that's all right. <laughs> um... So in the last picture, uh, this might be the classiest one. Uh, she just dropped off a pizza and she's getting ready to leave, but wanted to snap a pic before she left. <laughs> and the guys didn't tip her, so she figured she'd make money somehow. Uh, I'm. So who's this? Who's this belong to? This is mine. Is that your porch? <laughs> I wish. Yeah, I know it has really nice screening on it. Like no bugs getting in there, and then no bugs getting out. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Mm hmm. The only bugs so getting out of the little bugs. What made you pick this one, bugs? Uh, well, <laughs> uh, I really like the the pose she's in uh, against the wall uh, and tugging at the shirt there, and uh, I don't know, there, there's something about uh, leggings on a woman. It just uh, I'm into it. Hallelujah, brother! Yeah. I hear you. I think my I think my grandma had something like that. They were like diabetes That's socks. Diabetes Look socks. Nice big old salad. God knows. Oh, this is the, I will say this is the classiest picture in the lineup. So congratulations, Bugs. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Two this one looks professional. Two shows in a row. That, yeah. Uh, Justin picks the, uh, the girl that Bugs does. Yeah. Look at that. But yeah. All right. I do wish she had a pizza though. Yeah. Me that would be nice. Yeah, pizza would be great. All right. So uh, I guess that's that. Let's uh, move on to everybody's favorite segment. I think I've said that three times this yep. show. <laughs> uh, the asshole of the week. I'm going to hand this over to Chris since he's our asshole of the week expert. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. The only reason I've been making Nazi jokes is to just fucking make fun of them. I know. Um, I am not a fucking white supremacist by any fucking means, and really, my opinion on this just stems from, you know, who, you know, I can't. I don't even know how to get into it, because <laughs> you're not gonna fucking, asshole. you're not gonna change people's minds. They they feel the way they're going to feel because it's a very very polarizing issue, you know. Well, that's fine. We're not going to change anybody's mind, but we're going to fucking tell you straight up that these guys are assholes. Yes. That's what the fuck we do. So these little dick motherfuckers showed up, started some problems with some tiki torches that Donald Trump had, acting like they was Nazis, and they're a bunch of fucking assholes. Well, yeah, they the, definitely get asshole of the week. The the neo yeah, Nazi uniform really asshole. does suck. The what? Yeah, they, yeah, I think they get they get asshole of the century, honestly. Yeah, but maybe last I century, can, not this I one. I agree sure. with that. They're working on this one. They're working on this century, but they did win asshole of the century last century. Uh, <laughs> generally, I think they're a small group. Uh, I would like to watch them continue to be marginalized instead of being given so much TV time, you know? Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, Nazis definitely suck. And uh, I wish they all would just die and go to hell and burn in a fiery hell forever. It'd be a good place for them. They, yeah, it would. They did do one good thing back in the 80s on that Geraldo show when they fucking threw the chair at his face. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't remember that, dude. But yes, yeah, if you're a Nazi, stop being a Nazi. 
and start being a reasonable, like, good human being. And if you can't stop, just slit your wrist and die in the bathtub. Yeah, apparently, like, some of these people, some of these fucking kids were just there because they thought it was cool to shout white fucking power at other people. Mm. You know, these kids aren't even fucking Nazis. They're just stupid-ass kids that are getting caught up in this fucking, you know... Well, they felt empowered because they were in a group. It's like they're not going to go out on the street and tell a bunch of other people that, that <laughs> they're safe by themselves. Yeah, true. So they're pussies, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't think you should pro- be able to protest anything or demonstrate anything until you're like 35 years old and had a kid or two and fucking paid some taxes, held a job. <laughs> You know, actually had some fucking life experience where you can de- determine what's right for the rest of the fucking world. And it's kind of worrisome to see so many young people there, though. I always figured yeah. it was like a dying group, you know, like old people that would be dead in like 15, 20 years. But there's a lot of young people at that protest with their tiki torches. And that's the yeah, problem because it, it's probably mostly just youth rebellion. Like, what's the fucking establishment right now? total PC and you know you can't piss anybody off or hurt anybody's fucking feelings or else you're the you're the asshole of the week so what's the direct opposite of that Heil Hitler yeah that's bad well I, I agree with you uh, Justin because like I was fully expecting like you, if you look in the history books and then like you see like when the clan had their rallies and what where'd you go you're breaking what? up I was expecting to see a bunch of old guys in this march, and it was a lot of young people, because, I mean, the, the old guys, they've marched before. Yeah, they were all under sheets, but I was expecting a lot more old people and not so many young people. Well, I mean, the good thing is is they're not going to be able to get their message out when they're all unemployed. <laughs> yeah. So they've been losing their jobs and shit over this, which is fine. I don't want no Nazi making my pizza either. Well, and I, I think this will just drive them back under the sheets again, is what well, will that's, happen. That's where they belong. They should be afraid. They should be afraid to show their faces saying shit like that, you know? Maybe they were. You so, know what? Yeah. I, uh, I'm trying. I, didn't think we'd be, I didn't think we'd be talking about Nazis in 2017, <laughs> honestly. It's freaking ridiculous, man. I'm trying to find a, a little bit of humor in it without hurting anybody. So, no, just don't try. Don't try, you'll fail. No, no, I, I, I think I got it. I think I got a clear path. It's I like, swear to God. I swear to God, trust me. Um, the Nazis are like, okay, maybe we can come out of the closet now, too. Like, the gays have been accepted, the transgenders, you know, all everything else is cool. Maybe they'll be cool with us, too. <laughs> no. no, I don't think so. I don't think it works that way, because they hate all those things. And here's the fucking deal. So they show up to fucking protest the removal of uh, Robert E. Lee's statue, which is a whole different issue altogether. But I don't think Robert E. Lee would have been a fucking Nazi. Like, yeah. I don't think he would have supported these guys. I mean, he even came out after the war and said, like, you know, he supported civil rights, he set up educational programs, he uh, helped feed uh, freed slaves things of that nature. He wasn't a member of the KKK. Um, He wasn't a Nazi, obviously, because it didn't exist back then, but I don't think he would have supported this. Yeah, he only led led the army because his state of Virginia asked him to. It's not because he wanted to continue to own slaves or anything like that. And I think that it's kind of dumb that they actually went out there to protest around a monument you know period like that because like they had really had like you said it has nothing to do with Nazism whether your opinions on it you know whatever they are the two things are not the same not even close uh-huh. you know yeah I mean, this is silly I mean these guys are just looking for a reason uh, to you start want, a fight you want to fucking be looking for a re- I got a story from my local news last night in uh, Philly they got a statue of Frank Rizzo He's a, he used to be the mayor back in the uh, I think the 70s I thought he was a Wu-Tang Clan like, yeah um, <laughs> Rizzo <laughs> but last night there were people gathering outside this the statue saying you know chanting 
take it down, take it down, just because, you know, he was a hardliner. You know, this is the difference between, you know, pick statues of former slavers or, you know, Nazis or fucking Saddam Hussein, you know, whatever it may be. You know, it's a completely different situation. But these people are just looking for a way to get involved. It's like a fucking powder keg, you know, and some fucking retards are saying, oh, let's go fucking down to this statue and protest this. You know, fucking direct your energy and rage or whatever into useful fucking endeavors. Not going looking to tear down stupid fucking statues. I'm going to yeah, go protest. A, I'm going to go a protest. Lot. Go ahead, man. Seeing a, see a lot of uh, smart-ass remarks of uh, people saying, well, we need to go blow up Mount Rushmore now because Washington and Jefferson own slaves. Yes. Jesus Christ. Well, they did kill all the Native Americans and take that mountain and put their faces on it. Eh, that's a separate issue. <laughs> we have a lot of issues, man. Exactly. Uh, but we, we have these issues about... The, the fact is... You're... The, the fact is is that you will never find a perfect hero or patriot in American history. There, there just isn't one. Everyone has their flaws. Exactly. The fact of the matter is that your phone sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The, um... it's, it's all good. It's all right, you're just over-modulating a little bit. <clears throat> what, kind of, what kind of phone is that? A piece of shit. Oh, nice. I don't think it's that bad. Yeah. I think it's in big-ass cans that JC's wearing. <laughs> messing with his hearing. Well, I'll have yeah, a microphone by the next show, so I'll be good. Nice. They work? They yeah. work good? Yeah, I got this shit on sale, man. But, um... Mm. But, yeah, Nazis are definitely... They're the asshole of the week, and even when we don't bring it up, they're the asshole of the week every week. Um... Really? Yeah, definitely they suck. Fuck you guys. Die. (laughs) All of you die. Yep. I don't even want to understand your viewpoint. Like, there's no discussion that you could give me that would make me even care about what your viewpoint is. Yep, me neither, man. What if they really liked pimento uh, pretzel bacon (laughs) for (laughs) sandwiches? Well, then that has nothing to do with any kind of superiority except for the superiority of the sandwich. So my taste in sandwich. So would you sit down with a neo-Nazi and just, you know, you don't even have to talk. You could just be at the same table sh- enjoying your own individual separate pimento bacon pretzel sandwiches. Only if his is poisoned. Okay. <laughs> or his has no or his has no bacon so I can smell his misery. Input <laughs> <laughs> Tomatoes in jail. Don't eat those anyway. I want, you said, yeah, I don't like tomatoes a whole lot. I will eat them on a BLT though. But sometimes I, I, a lot of times when I get something with tomatoes on it, I get like halfway through the sandwich and I start taking the tomatoes out of it because I get tired of them. I kind of do that with onions and peppers on a hoagie. Oh, I love onions and peppers, man. So do I. But you know, it gets to the point where I think I'm not going to be able to finish the sandwich, and then I start like, all right, who's going first? And it's usually the onions <laughs> and the peppers. And then the nice. cheese. No, you don't Jettison take the cheese off. Or you'll never make it through the sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I got to make that a meme. All right. So uh, despite having a discussion, we do have a discussion this week. It's uh, New Jersey Collectors Con again. Yay. So, Bugs, didn't we so just Bugs do what did you think of New week? Jersey Collectors Con? Yeah, we did. But we've actually been there since then, so... I didn't really pay attention to it. <laughs> oh man, it was wasn't on your radar. No, they must have a, a good little show there. Don't need to be antagonized at all. It's great, man. So, uh, did you look at any of the pictures from there, you guys? Oh. No, not really, man. Like, oh, it, man. it sounded pretty cool. It is cool. Why well, well, look at pictures? I, I lived it. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Seen the seen the pictures of you at Walmart. Uh, I didn't really see many at uh, at the convention center. They're all on the Rock page, man. The Roma Collectors page. They've been yeah, posted yeah, up I there. Really, I do enjoy seeing pictures of like 
all the people I know from the different various parts of the community getting together and having a good time uh -huh. while I'm sitting at work and in Iowa doing nothing. Yes, and in that vein, uh, the two of your hosts met each other there. I mean, I met him the last the last NGCC. You know, we mm -hmm. said hello and had some pleasantries. And no, I thought he was creepy, too. so I avoided him the rest of the weekend. Exactly. Did you really? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were just we, we were we were people like last time. We were just people in passing. You know, like we didn't really know each other that well. Mm -hmm. Just like, hey, how you doing? And now we're just assholes who know each other. Now we were both screwed nice. in the bathroom yep. while our wives were in the hallway. <laughs> Oh. Very cool. I know when TFCon comes around, we're all just going to be kicking it. So it's going to be awesome. But NJCC is great. NJCC is great. Um, if you're going for the show, I would say don't go just for the show. But if you're a big fan of any of the groups that we all hang around in, and mm -hmm. if you're hearing this podcast, I know you are. And if you're not, you've made a huge mistake. Um, NJCC is a good time because of all the people, man. Like yeah. Everybody you keep up with every day is there. It's like a big family getting back together. It's actually uh, better than a family reunion. Yeah, it's 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 more like a, a reunion that a, a a toy show broke out at. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's a good way to put it. Really, you know, it's good. It's like you go and you see all your friends and the bonuses. You can buy a bunch of shit. Yep. <laughs> It is awesome, man. I, this is my second time going. I had a good time. I'm definitely going next time. I hope to see even more people next time. Um, yeah, it's a good time, man. It, it, I wish we had more stuff like that. So. Cool, cool. But um, do you have anything else to say about it? Uh, uh Hooker Spire. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'd be interested to see how it played out with them doing it over the two days, you know, to see if attendance was up or sales were up or whatever it was, to see if it was more popular or if they would back, revert back to a, a single day event. Um, I, did, I did like two days because it, you know, it gave me a reason to come all the way up from where I'm from. I mean, I had a reason before, but you know, I came up this time. We had two days of stuff. I mm -hmm. saw different people both days. And just more opportunity oh. to taste the local cuisine. Yeah, man. Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, mm. <laughs> Dude, I tell you, the next wing restaurant in New Jersey, I guess. The Probably next not. time that it happens, I'm going to take you guys out to a, a damn good steakhouse right around the corner. Nice. Outback? Fuck no. <laughs> Lone Star? <laughs> Ain't no goddamn chain, motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, man. Texas Roadhouse is fucking money. It, it is pretty good. It ain't as yeah. much money as Steak 38, buddy. I've never seen a Texas Roadhouse before. Dude, so good. Is that the one where you eat peanuts and you throw them on the floor? Yeah, I think it is. Yep. You can't do that here anymore because the health code said no way. Well, That's horrible. You took away that. Uh, no, I'm never fine because I didn't like walking in. The fucking restaurant with shit all the floor. Yeah, but I like to pretend I'm walking into like a 17th century saloon or some shit. Yeah, but you're not. Like, you're, you're gonna pay a lot of money for food and. Oh, you, it's they're, expensive. They're Count me out. Dude, they, they got. You know, like, but wait, Texas Roto. All the, the money's coming. Yeah, all the money's coming back to you anyway, Justin. Eventually, it's all floating out in the universe. I'm just waiting for it all to come back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we've discussed takehouses too now. Um, let's move on to listener questions. Uh, we actually have listeners, Do and we? they have questions. Uh, we have at least one or two. And uh, the first listener question is, why are you so gay, Catfish? <laughs> <laughs> well, who had that one? I'm not sure it was a mystery. I knew from a young age that I was different and I didn't know exactly what was what was going on with me and then you know when I started when I hit puberty I, I was I started becoming attracted to guys oh that you know, poor rap started smoking weed you know and what are you trying so, to say it's it's a gay twig drug you know it's not it's not that I became gay it's just it's just that I was born that way and I can't help it so mm. 
you know, it is what it is. Yeah, you and Lady My Gaga. Wife disagree. She doesn't think I'm gay, but. <laughs> I was going to ask when you were going to tell your wife. Yeah. No, I'm not going to let her know she cooks good food, so. Well, she's never going to listen to this, so you're all right. Yeah, no, she listened last week, and I got in trouble for total knockouts. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, she, she can't sh- listen no more. Well, she should be upset because you're a gay man looking at other women. That's like really bad. That's like a double, yeah. double hit. Oh shit! Like you don't even want chicks, but you can pick another one. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think about it like that. Yeah, that's, that's a, pretty bad. That's a second level fuck you. Yeah. Poor thing. <laughs> God well, damn. I'm give her some later tonight, then. <laughs> She's gonna beat you to death with a freaking Bud Light, dude. <laughs> she might. <laughs> she might. <laughs> or just that purse. <laughs> oh my god! Can you imagine how heavy that thing is? Fucking yeah, hurts. like twenty-four pack in there, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my wife. My wife can spontaneously generate pepperoni bread from her purse. And like JC's wife can sp- spontaneously generate Bud Light from her purse. <laughs> it's like it's actually pretty amazing. I wish I had a purse that could do that. <laughs> so her, her purse is like a, got mass shifting technology in it. Yeah, it, it makes beer. Good, man, I don't know how she did it, but like last year at TFCon, she just kept coming up with Bud Light after Bud Light, and it came out of the purse. Where are you hiding those that? Like I bet you, I, I want to go to movies with the movies with y'all, man. You know, <laughs> it's free beer. Maybe oh, pull yeah. some popcorn out of there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I'll bring me the bread. The movie Madison there. <laughs> Say what? Me and JC met in Madison to see the fifth Transformer movie. I'm sorry. Nice. Seen, seen it on the big screen and in recliners. It was awesome. Nice. Yeah, it was. It was a good time. Was, uh... All right, so. So now that we've spent all that time on a fake listener question, <laughs> um, we actually do have a listener question from Antoine Lewis. Uh, he's probably never listened to the hey. show again. Um, what made you guys want to start the podcast? Free money? Uh, There's no free money. Who yelled at? Take, I'll take this one. Uh, so basically it all started out as, you know, we've got a chat with a bunch of different people from the community. We've been... We've had the chat for like three or four years now going, and uh, we've always toyed around with the idea of, of just starting our own podcast and talking shit, and uh, one day we just finally did it, so here we are. Well, it also helped with Chris entering the picture, and we finally had somebody in the group that knew how to do it. <laughs> it's not even, yeah. no, somebody that was willing to take the time to learn and not lazy piece of shit like me. Well, there you yeah, go. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That is true. So once we added Chris to the group and kind of told him about the idea, he uh, he went uh, he went off after it and learned how to do it, and then we 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 came on and that's how it happened. Yeah. I've always it. wanted, I've always kind of wanted to do a show, and uh, you know it's just I don't know that there's already everything else out there. And so when when y'all come up with the idea to just do a show that's just whatever the hell we feel like, and I feel like the show's actually made for us. If you just happen to like listening to it, then you win, you know? Mm -hmm. And for for my part in it, I heartily apologize. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, y'all wouldn't be listening to this, wouldn't have to listen to this if it wasn't for Chris, so. Don't put this on me, shit. Because none of us know, none of us know how to do any of this stuff <laughs> as far as making a podcast and uploading it. You know, if a- Eric still hasn't figured out how to use a headset. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be getting one this week. Nice. nice. Really good. Oh, it still hasn't oh, yeah. come in yet. I haven't even been charged for them yet. Oh, Amazon's oh, being slow as fuck. You got those Hello Kitty ones coming along. <laughs> Um, no, I, I was leaning towards the My Little Pony ones, but, uh... Brony! You can get those at Hascon, man. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for sending in the uh, question, Antoine. Yeah, man, thanks. Like, I appreciate it. Thanks for listening to it, too, man. Yes, and commenting on the we'll posts, and on the videos, too. everything's cool, man. Yeah. 
So, like, you know, when we're all old and gray, dude, you know, like, if, if I live longer, I'm going to make sure they leave you plugged in for at least another three hours so you can have that time back. I'll make sure to bring some uh, high-quality Wisconsin alcoholic beverages to TFCon, and uh, I'll make sure to share some. Does that shit come What's in a up? bag? Uh, the beer doesn't, no. Okay. It should. Bring back no, the party go. ball. All right, and uh, this is the end of the notes. Okay. Hey, this is uh, where we we just banter for a few minutes. Yeah, what's um, what's Antoine's page called? Third, third party, third party unlimited. unlimited. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to Third Party Unlimited. Page, man. He has all the new third party news. And he's going to make yeah. sure you see it. Yeah, he's actually, like, I mean, still to this day, like, I mean, he, he was one of those dudes where I go to him with, you know, for all my news, pretty much. Mm. You know, so thanks for that, Antoine. God knows I share enough of his posts on uh, WTF. Yep. Yeah, true. He's definitely a uh, good contributor to the community. Where we're not. No, <laughs> we, we're horrible. <laughs> Uh, so do we have, do we have a pre-recorded outro yet? Not a we serious do. one. I mean, I have the 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 one with the the deepened voice, whatever it is. But ah. nothing. You know, every show is going to be different the way we end it. You know, we could no, just say and cut. Nice. <laughs> All right. So, does anybody else have anything they want to discuss before we start to get on out of here? Well, um, next week we are going to uh, attempt to have a guest on. Um, I'm not going to drop any names, but uh, everybody will want to listen in for that. Who? And then, huh? Who? I'm not Mark telling you. It's a fucking secret. No, I'm, I'm doing an impersonation of the people listening to this. Oh, uh, okay. I got you. And then, I don't want to um, spoil it, but it's definitely not Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> but it could be the You're Funky Bunch. About, yeah, okay. In about two weeks, we're going to be doing a very special announcement uh, regarding a very special TFCon exclusive that will only be available at the show. Mm. So you guys are going to want to listen in for that. And other than that, that's all I got. <laughs> Bedbugs, you got anything you want to say before we get out of here? Oh, oh man. Um... Shout out to Fun Pub for having good uh, customer service when they have shit that doesn't come out right. <laughs> Shout out to being one of their last customers, Bugs. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you had the, the problem and they solved it within a week, right? Oh, yeah, it was awesome, man. But less than a week. I, I emailed them on Monday and today's Thursday, so. Well, so you, you can't ask for any more than that. They probably mailed it before you called them because they took the head off in spite. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, hey, look, I know that guy's name. That's a guy that killed us. That was yeah, rip, one, rip one of the heads off his waspinator. And then when it leaves, somebody's like, dude, that guy practically buried us. Do you really want to have his wrath again? And they'll like, yeah, listen in the head. <laughs> or maybe they should have sent the head first. Oh, yeah. Sicilian like message. Yeah. Don't mess with us. Mm. We will send you chug heads. <laughs> I think they still have to be on their best behavior, otherwise they'll lose their G.I. Joe license. Is G.I. Joe still a thing? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I had no idea. That's that's like the only uh, way that Joe collectors are getting shit right now is through the club because there's nothing on retail right now. It is kind of sad to see the decline of G.I. Joe because I see other G.I. Joe styled figures all over the place but none of them are G.I. Joe. Yeah, that the horse shit or whatever. Yeah, the uh, knockoff G.I. Joes. Mm-hmm. It's like, how can those take up so much shelf space and sell but yet Hasbro can't sell the, the same shit? I, I don't get it. Yeah, it's not even that cheap. That's what I don't understand. Like the other stuff isn't. It's like, you know, fifty dollars for a vehicle and some dudes. And it's like, you know, 
G.I. Joe could put that stuff out for the same price. Maybe they did. I don't know why people aren't buying that. Maybe it's a, some kind of a stigma on the name or on the brand. What, Joe? No, the, the whole G.I. Joe brand. You know, maybe kids think, oh, that was like, that's for old people or for, yeah, that was my dad's. I don't want to play with that. I don't that's know. That's a real American hero, man. I, you know, he, he told me a lot of things that I needed to know in life at the end of every episode. Yeah. <laughs> Knowing is half the battle. Yeah. G.I. Joe! Yeah. Erp. All right. All right, I'm calling it. What are we at, an hour and a half? Yeah, about. Just about. Yeah, let's call it. Goodbye. Well, that's not how it works. You gotta do shout-outs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotta show love. A shout-outs to the uh, Realm of Collectors Network. Uh, all the shows that I like on there. Shout out to Shattercast Uncut. I guess we're going to shout out Third Party Unlimited for your third party news on Facebook. Um, Anybody else got any other shout outs they want to give? Uh, yeah, I'll give a shout, shout out. Oh, go ahead, JC. I just, I just want to shout out my wife for not uh, divorcing me after listening to the athlete show. Yeah. <laughs> did you she, are lucky. Did she listen to the whole thing? She skimmed it, but she just she just happened to skim it to the part where I was talking about sucking farts out of girl butts. <laughs> yeah, that's bad, dude. That's perfect. God, dude. I don't think those words have ever came out of my mouth before, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I might Shout out I might, to her. I might suck the bacon out of that sandwich. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll do my shout-outs. Uh, I want to give a shout-out to uh, Micro Wisconsin. And what that is is that uh, there's an actual Micronauts collectors group in Wisconsin, and they're having to get together <laughs> next weekend. Uh, I'm not going to it because I'm going to the Dairy Con Fall Special in Milwaukee in two weeks. And uh, I think somebody else in here is uh, also going. I'm going to try. Work's being a bitch, so... Uh, if I can get my work to stop being a bitch, I will uh, be there. <laughs> or if your um, wife doesn't kill you. <laughs> the, the, doesn't kill me. the fall special, uh, it's just loosely affiliated with DairyCon. It's a lot of the same guys, but it's not a convention. It's uh, basically a giant barbecue and toy swap. I, I guess I would compare it to Skull Fest. Uh, so. It's open to whoever's in the area. Uh, if you live in Chicago and want to come up to Wisconsin for the weekend, come check out, eat some food, trade some toys. Yep. Shout oh, out to Bacon. Shout out to Pimento Cheese. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And cheese. All the cheese, not just Pimento. Mm, yeah, cheese is awesome. Yeah. Who'd have thought our greatest invention would be curdled milk? <laughs> All right. Well, I think that wraps her up. All right. And uh, send us some more questions. We, we would like, you know, wouldn't mind some more listener questions. Unless you're on the show. Yeah. If you're on the show, don't put any more listener questions on there. Yeah, Chris. Right, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the first time yeah. we ever asked for one, so I had to fucking make it special. No, I know. And thanks, JC, for telling us your life story. Yeah. You're none welcome. of us had none of us had any idea, man. I have a lot of respect for you coming out like that on the show. Yeah. But <laughs> I, I, I really do hope that you have some kind of arrangement going where you know you can at least find some love in the you know sexual gender that you are truly attracted to. Why do you think he's going to TFCon? Oh. <laughs> thank Thank God I got my own room. Well, better get ready. I got a bottle full of fucking roofies and two fucking roommates, so... Oh, oh God. Bring the lube, bugs. Fuck lube. <laughs> no lube. You're just going to get a fucking... One of those cans of shortening and just slap your fist into it and pull it out and, you know, slather Where it on you... and go to town. All right, yeah, that was weird. <laughs> oh, God. This is how I'm getting my start in the radio world. Yep. All right. 
All right, good night, you bunch of degenerates. If you liked what you heard and want more, like and subscribe. Comment and let us know what you thought. If you're on Facebook and want to join the party and become a fellow drag, we're at TF and WTF ever. All hate mail can be sent to TKO the podcast at gmail.com. We'll be back next week with some more nonsense.